here is the female torso model. Okay. See what next to the ear is the parotid gland. So that is the parotid gland. Turn the head around. And here is the submandibular gland, sublingual gland. Here is the tongue. Way back there, that is the uvula. And a bit. Here is the thyroid cartilage, thyroid gland, here's the trachea, and in the thoracic cavity we have the lungs, the right lung and the left lung. The right lung has three lobes, superior lobe, middle lobe, and inferior lobe. There's the horizontal fissure between the superior and middle lobes, and the oblique fissure between the middle and inferior lobes. With the left lung we have a superior lobe and an inferior lobe separated by the oblique fissure. This little bit here would be a cardiac notch. This little sheet-like muscle here is the diaphragm. You can take the lungs out now. Again, here is the trachea. The end of the trachea, it splits into the right main bronchus, which becomes lobar bronchi, which becomes segmental bronchi. And the left main bronchus, which becomes lobar bronchi, which becomes segmental bronchi. Uh, moving on, this is the esophagus. The esophagus leads down to the abdominal cavity, to the stomach. So here is the stomach. There's the liver with its right lobe and left lobe. Let's take some of these organs out. So again, here is the liver, right lobe, left lobe, flip it over. On the inferior view, you can see down here is the quadrate lobe. This is the caudate lobe. Here's the gallbladder. So gallbladder, quadrate lobe, caudate lobe. Here's the inferior vena cava. All right, back over here, here is the esophagus, the end of the esophagus, beginning of the stomach is the lower esophageal sphincter. This is the stomach, broken up into the cardia, directly after the esophagus. The fundus, this hump is the fundus. The body, and the pylorus, open the stomach up. You see all these ridges on the inside, these are the rugi, these ridges are the rugi. Lower esophageal sphincter, the other end is the pyloric sphincter. And that will then lead us this off to the small intestine. This is all small intestine. The beginning part of the small intestine is the duodenum. So the C-shaped curve here is the duodenum. Here's the pancreas, the duodenum. This region here is the jejunum. So this is the jejunum, part of the small intestine. This is all ileum. So again, duodenum, jejunum, ileum. We'll take the small intestine out and we can see the large intestine. The very beginning of the large intestine. Here's the very end of the ileum, the small intestine. Here's the cecum, beginning of the large intestine. That structure right here is the ileocecal sphincter, ileum, cecum, ileocecal sphincter. And here's the appendix. This is the ascending colon. Going across is the transverse colon. This is the descending colon. Leads to the seg, the sigmoid colon. So where it kind of curls there is the sigmoid colon. And then at the very end of the colon, way down here, is the rectum. Alright, put this back in place. Um, here is the transverse colon again. That line going along the middle of the large intestine is the um, each one of these little lumps here is a hostrum, hostrum, tinea coli, tinea coli. There's some more tinea coli, there's some more tinea coli. The tissue right here, that white tissue is the mesocolon, 
mesocolon, part of the peritoneum. Here is the mesentery, also part of the peritoneum. And then back when the intestines were in place, we had in front this big sheet of fatty material. This is the greater omentum, other part of the peritoneum. All right, moving on. Still in the abdominal cavity, we have the adrenal glands, we have the kidneys, right and left kidneys. We have the ureter, ureters, right and left ureters travel down to the urinary bladder. The uterus, in female model, uterus, urinary bladder. Uh, then there's a couple of structures in the head we need to remember. So again, brain. gland is right here. There's the pineal gland. There's the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus, pineal gland, and then of course deep up in here this is the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland, hypothalamus, pineal gland. And that is hopefully it for this model.